What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. I turned up my volume all the way because I know a lot of you guys have commented and said you couldn't hear me. So, can you hear me now? Um, hopefully you can. I'm sorry. Uh, not meaning to yell, but there's people saying they couldn't hear me. So, I have the volume all the way up, okay? Um, this is free general collective reading. Path to side, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Free general collective reading, so it's very important. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're at 13,070 subscribers right now, I think. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. Um, if you'd like to donate, it's High Persistence Row 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys from the bottom of my heart chakra. I do, I do, I do, who? Um, if you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to share my channel very publicly, social media, and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. Love you guys. Okay, so I got another channeling in. Um, the chicken breasts are waiting, but I'll do it. Okay. Um, love you guys so much. I hope that hopefully this is a lot better than that. I did not like that last reading. Um, the, uh, there's about to be a severe medical error that's about to cause a damn lawsuit in a hospital, basically. Nursing error, and it sounds like doctor error, doctors. I mean, and somebody's going up in there, drinking on the job, shooting up drugs or snorting drugs or whatever the hell they're doing on the job in a fucking hospital. That's a slap to my freaking profession, man. A bitch slap to it. I just want to say. It's sickening is what it is. It's freaking sickening. If anybody needs to hear that. If you go up in there shooting up minis before you clock in to the OR or clock in on the floor or clock in wherever you're clocking in. Okay, so the channel message I received was um, um, <clears throat> cycles are about to start changing extremely fast. Is what I heard. Cycles are about to start changing extremely fast. Um, people are getting huge, huge, huge wake-up calls. Some already have. About to take action soon and quickly. That's very broad, but that's what we got so far. So cycles are uh, about to change very, very, very quickly. So a lot of cycle change energy, will of fortune energy. It's about to start changing very, very, very quickly. People, some have already gotten huge wake-up calls. Some are about to. So however that resonates and applies in one's life, huge wake-up call energy. Um, on person, people, place, family, situation, organization, etc., etc., etc. Um, I'll show you what I think it is in this one. Um, it's the wake up call energy. Uh, now, whatever you have already gotten a wake up call about, or you're about to, but um, if this message applies for you, you've gotten a wake up call, your perspective has changed, or is about to change. If that resonates and applies for you, okay, um, and it's about to cause your 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 wheel to start moving, you are about to take action. That's what this reminds me of. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates now. Whatever action you're about to take in the universe, only you know you're showing out anybody else. There's thirteen thousand to seventy you guys on here, so whatever action you're gonna take, you plug it in, how it resonates. That's gonna be overall energy, okay. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates, man. Extreme imbalances in the universe. There are many series of chain events that are about to start being balanced out. Extreme imbalances in the universe. There are many series of chain events that are about to start being balanced out. Many, 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 many series of chain events. Okay. I heard many, 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 many series of chain events. So there's imbalances in the universe. They're about to be uh, balanced out. Spirit messages you have to like this. So somebody we um we have ace of pentacles reverse. So um no new opportunity in some shape, form, or fashion. Somebody I feel is in poverty or impoverished or their money has been stolen. King of Pentacles reversed. 
Someone's unstable, ungrounded, unreliable, undependable. Spirit messages you have for blessings. out of third party relationships some are getting huge wake up calls on wrongdoings done to done to people in workplaces that didn't deserve it some are getting huge wake up calls regarding manipulative people in workplaces that do deserve punishment well this is actually pretty good so you plug it in how it resonates. So some are uh, getting wake up call about karmic relationships. So this could be you or somebody you're connected to. You know, one message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your story, not anybody else. These are psychic intuitive messages. But however that resonates, some are getting um, having a huge wake up call about karmic relationships. So third party sneaky link situationships, blahs blahs blahs. I don't. I never. That shit doesn't. Is never made sense to me. Period. Point blank. It just never has. Even like years ago when my community was like, oh yeah, don't you like open relationships? And oh yeah, um, dating all these people at one time. No, no, I don't date a ton, shit ton of people at one time. That's not me. Now, if you want to go do that, sure. But even when people in my community was doing that to me years ago is what I'm saying. It never fucking made sense to me because it doesn't. It don't. Just for real, for real. It's too fucking messy. It's too messy. Um, and that's the truth. But I don't judge people that do that. Because I'm not them. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I feel some of you guys are getting huge wake-up calls about karmic relationships. So you're about to get out of the karmic relationships is what I'm feeling for some. For some, it's people that were done wrong in workplace situations. So it sounds like they've already been done wrong in workplace situations. Uh, maybe some policies or procedures um, or there was manipulative situations that caused them. To, I think they were wrongfully terminated or they left their job free willingly because over politics or BS or drama or blase, blase, blase for the ones that didn't deserve it. But someone's also getting huge wake up calls about people currently in workplace situations. that are very manipulative and they deserve basically the, the book. They deserve the gavel. They deserve punishment how that resonates people currently in workspace situations you plug it in how it resonates and we have the third card i got out was the wheel so i heard cycles were changing the wheel of fortune this is the wheel of fortune in this deck which i know this is a new deck but i love this deck you guys it's not it's not new to me i just had it for a minute but um it's beautiful and I love it. This is the Wheel of Fortune in here. So the wheel is changing. Cycles are changing with the wake-up call energy, which um, I'm putting that in here because I feel it's relevant in this reading. Y'all can see it. Thank you. Hopefully you can see it. Hopefully I'm talking loud enough. So, um... Yeah, I think somebody is realizing somebody got screwed in a huge way in a workplace dynamic or workplace dynamics. And there's somebody, somebody's getting a huge wake-up call that somebody's in a workplace dynamic and they're a huge ass manipulator. Um, and somebody's getting a huge wake-up call about some kind of crazy karmic third party or fourth party or fifth party or what have you, what have you relationship. Um I'm not judging other people's relationships, but that's just too much shit. It's just too much. It's too much, too much, too much is what that shit is. Yeah, that's exactly what this is, man. Um, no new opportunity or opportunities. Um, no growth. Um, people getting screwed in workplace situations already in the current energetic space. Somebody unstable, ungrounded, unreliable, and dependable. I think this might be somebody in a workplace dynamic that maybe is manipulating people. Maybe they're always asking for money or always needing money or always working um, extra hours or something. Or they have addictions or something.
And then the cycle's changing. The wheel's moving. Cycle's changing. Um, because you are already got a wake-up call or you're about to. However that resonates and applies in one's life, okay? I feel guided to get a Witch's Wisdom card for some reason. Actually, no. No, no, no. I feel guided to get a um, Goddess card. Share messages you have up like this. There's about to be huge, huge, huge changes coming soon. Huge. To many people, in many aspects, soon. Some positive, some negative. There's about to be huge, huge, huge changes coming to many people soon. Some positive, some negative. So I'm assuming, hopefully, if you deserve it, you will get the positive. I didn't hear that, but I'm hoping if you des actually deserve it, you'll get the positive. If you don't deserve it, you'll get the negative. But sometimes we all know there's dirty magicians out there in the universe, and sometimes good people get the shit in a stick. Trust me, I've been wrongfully terminated in my city four fucking times. I'm not in there... I'm not in the damn OR drinking up a um, fucking mini before I clock in. Um, I'm not up on the floor shooting up some of my veins before I clock in, but yet I get wrongfully terminated. You know what I'm saying? I mean, th this that's some screwed up shit, and that's just the truth. It happens all the time. Like it says, it's happened to me four times in the universe. I know it's happened to many people many other times. I know it has. I know I'm not the only one. But you better believe I'm going to fucking speak up on it because that's the truth. Uh, but hopefully what I'm saying is the positive, the many changes about to come to many people in many aspects. Hopefully the positive changes will come to the people that actually fucking deserve it. And the negative changes will come to people that actually deserve it. Because I heard there's a huge imbalance in the universe. Meaning I think the good people that have really been putting in good karma and good energy into the universe, they're getting the fucking short end of the stick. But somebody's getting a wake-up call about this. I think this is you or somebody you're connected to. And I'm serious about that. I think you're a true, upright, light side individual if this resonates for you. You treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, integrities, and values. And you're getting a wake-up call about this. Or you're about to. We do need more changes in the universe. Because, I, I mean, there's imbalances in the universe all over the damn universe. Because of shit like this. Because of this. Because of politics and workplace situations. Trust me, I've been a victim of politics four fucking times in four companies. Trust me, I know that. Um, the, it, it happens everywhere. 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 Spirit message that you have reflected. I'll just give you all an example while I'm shuffling out. When I worked at a nursing home, I started in November of 2021. And I don't work there anymore. I work there at PRN. But they uh, cycled me out. They cycled me out, but I was only PRN. I wasn't full-time. So I didn't get terminated or anything. They just didn't never call me back. And I kept texting, texting, texting. Hey, uh, I got to work on one day every 30 days. That I never got a contact back. So they cycled me out. I wasn't heartbroken about that, right? So, um, okay. So anyways, when I worked there, though, and I was working a lot of hours there back in November, December 2021. Uh, spare messages that you have for like um, there's this one girl, uh, well, not one, but one particular individual I'm thinking of, she, um, uh, was a, she's a full-time staff nurse there. She was, I don't know if she's there anymore, but she's a very, very attractive person, very attractive nurse, um, feminine energy. And I didn't hear it from her, but, and it's sad. It was gossip, but the way she, um, kind of treated me at the, at the beginning, I kind of picked up on the energy that it could be true, possibly. Um, and I shouldn't be gossiping about this on here, but the way she treated me, I, I just kind of, I, I, I kind of thought maybe it was true. But whether it was true or not true, I don't know. I don't know if it was true or not true. But my point is, is 
whether it was true or not true, I know it does happen in workplace situations. So whether it really did happen with her or not, I don't know. I can't tell you that. But I can tell you, I know it does work, uh, does happen in workplace situations. There was a rumor going around in that um, facility that this particular nurse I'm thinking of, um, she worked um, administration uh, in that um, long-term care facility. Um, that she, when the former administrator was there, it was a male, and that she that the administrator, which was is the head of a long term care facility for anybody that doesn't know, is that top dog. He would pay her very, 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 very large amounts of money to have sex with him. So basically, she was his prostitute. Confirmation from my kitty. She's super attractive. Like she has a very nice body. Very nice. Um, so I don't know if it was true or not, but I've seen I've seen that happen in other places I've worked. But that's the truth. So that kind of shit happens all the time is what I'm trying to say. That's an imbalance in the universe. That's an imbalance in a workplace situation. Because administrators make shit tons of money. And they just do. They do. They make shit tons of money. So he had plenty of money to give to her. And she was very attractive, so you really couldn't find that a hard story to believe, is what I'm trying to say. You see what I'm saying? And she was a single mother, too. But I'm a single mother. And if I was ever offered that, I've been offered money before to have sex with somebody. But I have always declined it. Because my morals, values, integrity. And that's the truth. I've never been offered it in a workplace situation, but I have been offered it in my community when I first moved out here. But my point is... That's the measure of a person right there. And that's just the truth. That's the measure of a person. If you might need to hear that. Green Tara, the Buddha of enlightened action. My soul informs my every step. I do what my heart compels me to do. Someone's about to use their intuition. They're about to stand up to many people soon. Some, one person, so many people. They're about to do the right thing. Well, that's beautiful. Okay, so if this is messages for you, you're about to do the right thing. Whatever the right thing is for you and how that resonates in your life. For some, you're about to stand up to one person. For some, you're about to stand up, I feel, to two or two plus. Many people are heard, so two or two plus. And you're about to use your intuition. So use the little voice inside of you. Use your soul, your intuitive logic, reasoning, intuition inside of you to do the right thing. Whatever the right thing is and how that applies for you now. Only you know your story, not anybody else. I think she's a beautiful goddess. I just want to say that. Isn't she? I'm about to, I'm about to go walk and get my goddess vibes on in a minute. Um, my goal is five miles tonight. Just saying, just saying. Five miles, baby. I'm going to start running by next week. So, um, yeah, so whoever you are, you're about to use your intuition. Some stand up to one person. Some stand up to two or two plus people. Some many, however many people are to you. And you're about to do, make the wheel turn. You're about to make the wheel turn. You're about, I think you're about to be power play mover here, cycle change mover here. Um, and you're about to do the right thing because you have already got a wake up call or you're about to. However, that resonates and applies in one's life, okay? Let me see if I hear anything else. Because I really want to get off of here because I want to go walking, then I'll make my chicken. Yeah, I want to go walking. It's calm. it's um, not as hot out there now. See, I'm not super skinny like her. And my goal is to be, um, to get my damn weight off. To be having a body like this. Well, I want to keep my boots. But, just saying.
criminals are about to be exposed in a huge way. People that these people would have never thought are about to stand up and speak are about to stand up and speak. They're about to be shot. Holy shit, I heard criminals are about to be exposed. They never thought they would be exposed. I think it might be these people. Um, people that never, people that the criminals never thought would stand up and speak or about to start speaking. Um, and it's about to make the wheels start moving. Because people have already got wake-up calls or they're about to. You go with your bad self, whoever you are, are about to start standing up. Um, some it's in a workplace situation, I'll tell you that right now. For some, it could be um, just the wake-up call about the karmic energy. Your third-party situation ship, sneaky link. For some, it could be prostitution energy. And I, um, I don't know if that girl watches my channel from the nursing home I used to work at right down the street right here. I don't know if she watches my channel. She knows about my channel. I know she does. Um, so I don't know um, if she watches. Um, but I never used your name, ma'am. I never used your name. Nobody knows who you are unless anybody's heard that story. And I'm not saying it was true because I don't know. I wasn't in there when money was exchanged and sex was had. But um, that is what I heard. So, I mean, and I'm not a gossiper. But I'm just using that story as an example because I know that shit happens because I have been around in other workplace situations where people, I've heard people offer people shit with my own ears in workplace situations. That's the truth. So, I mean, just saying. All right. I love you guys. Love you guys so much. And I'm going to say.